Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Superman and Lois Season 1. We're going to be talking about their panel at DC Fandom. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So before this video starts, if you guys could share this video around and share my channel around. And also go check out the videos in the past few days. The channel's been getting a little bit less attraction, obviously, the show's on on right now, but it would really mean the most to me if you could share it around on social media to people who watch the shows in real life that you know, it would really mean so much. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video, and we are going to be covering Superman and Lois more and more as the days and weeks go by, so don't miss any Superman and Lois videos as we head towards the premiere in January. Okay, so Superman and Lois is starting to film in early October, so in about a month or so from now, so you can expect some maybe behind the scenes looks, some photos, some more information. We'll start getting promos and trailers hopefully around the time of late October, November is probably the best bet for Superman and Lois considering they're starting a bit later than some of the other shows. But anyway, so talking about the DC fandom panel, there was the big event, it was yesterday night and it was very, very big and Superman and Lois had a great panel, Tyler was there, Elizabeth was there, you had the showrunner Todd Helbing was there and they talked about a lot of stuff and they revealed one huge thing and we got some other stuff to talk about, but the huge thing that they revealed in the panel is that Superman is getting a new superhero suit. So that is insane because I did not expect that at all, but okay, so apparently the reason why they wanted to change it is because it's not built and the original Supergirl suit, you know, when he first appeared in Supergirl in season 2, which he's been wearing since, was only made to last like four cameo appearances, like guest appearances every now and again, and it wasn't built to last as a suit that would be used all year round. So apparently there's been some issues with the suit before, you know, not in terms of what we see in the TV show, but like in terms of like preservation, I guess. So they needed a new suit and this new suit that we're getting is an upgraded suit. I don't know how different it's going to look, but I'd say probably is going to be really cool because they described it as badass and I quote right there. And so this new Superman suit is very, very exciting to me and I'm sure it is to all of you. So I'm thinking, in terms of the Superman suit, I think it's really, really good right now. I don't think they're going to go that far away from what they have. Like, if you've seen Supergirl changing her suit before when she got the new one last season, all they did was they gave her, like, pants, trousers instead of a skirt. They kind of upgraded a few things here and there in terms of the texture and the detail. But they don't tend to change it too drastically. Sometimes they do, like The Flash, they changed his suit quite drastically after Season 4 heading into Season 5. But, you know, that could be a mistake, and it was a mistake on The Flash's part. So, I think it's going to be pretty similar. I think it's going to be more like a Supergirl kind of upgrade than a Flash Season 4 to 5 upgrade. So, what you're going to see is Superman, you're going to see Tyler Hecklin in this new suit, and it's apparently badass. And I don't know if it's going to relate to some of the past Superman suits we've seen on other shows. And obviously the only other show properly is like Smallville recently. But then you've got all the films. You've got like the 70s film. I would say it's probably going to relate more back to that. Even though it's not going to be as bright and not as cartoony. You know, kind of the essence of what they're going for with this show is more in line with that than, you know, Man of Steel or, you know, Brandon Ralph Superman or something like that. So... I would say it's just going to be an upgrade, it's not going to be like a big change, he's not going to suddenly get like the Man of Steel suit or he's not going to get like the Superman 1970s suit, so there's a lot to look forward to in regards to that and this was a great confirmation that Superman is getting an upgraded badass suit for the show. So yeah, you can expect that, maybe you'll get some sort of first look very soon for Superman and Lois and this was announced in the DC fandom panel. Okay, so let's move on to some other information we got from the panel that was on DC Fandom. So, two teenage sons are going to be in the show, even though there was only a baby in the crossover, and I don't believe they're jumping in time by like 10 years or something like that. So, it's going to be kind of weird because Tyler is, you know, in his 30s, he's going to have teenage sons. It's like, oh, did he have his kid when he was like 16 or something like that? But, you know, that is something that apparently they're not 
you know, noticing too much, they're kind of skipping past that. It's just like a continuity error. Maybe they will try and explain it how they have two teenage sons when they only had a new baby in the last crossover, which is crazy. So Jonathan was the baby in the crossover and there is going to be a teenage version of Jonathan in the show. And as far as I know, we're not skipping forward in time, so it's just going to be like a continuity thing that is going to be different from the rest of the Arrowverse because we saw in Crisis, Jonathan was literally just born and they brought him onto the ship and that's what we saw. Okay, so we also found out that they're going to be mainly in Smallville because Superman and Lois have moved back to Smallville from Metropolis. So will they move back to Metropolis? I think that's the big question. I think for the start they're going to stay in Smallville, they're going to make it like kind of a updated version of Smallville with Superman and Lois, I think the titular thing being Superman and Lois, so it's not just like Superman and Metropolis or something like that, but I think they're going to move over to Metropolis sometime because you kind of have to get the Daily Planet in there somewhere, right? You need some Clark Kent who is just not like Farmer Clark Kent, you need some city working journalist Clark Kent along with Lois Lane both working at the Daily Planet. I think they should do that at some point. Maybe that's in season 2 or something like that but we have to wait and see. So yeah mainly in Smallville that's where they've moved back to in the show when they start and so also the heart of the show is said to be their family and the dynamic between heroes and villains. This is the main kind of focus, the kind of theme as they always say of the show which is pretty similar to like The Flash and Supergirl, it's all about their family and you know they have their team Supergirl, their team Flash respectively and they'll have their team Superman but I think that team is gonna be more just like Superman and Lois, maybe they'll get one other person or maybe one other person apart from that to kind of help them be superheroes and to save Smallville, I guess, not Metropolis. And then the dynamic between heroes and villains, that's the same for all of our other DC TV shows because, you know, there's always the heroes versus the villains and that is the main story of the whole season is the heroes defeating like one or two big bads and so we'll have to wait and see who the big bad is. But as of right now, and I probably missed out on some information, like I'm sure I saw like a bunch of casting calls, but one I did catch on to was the alternate version of Lex. So this version of Lex is different. He is not played by John Cryer. It's another actor. Forgot his name, correct me in the comments down below. Let me know who is playing this alternate version of Lex Luthor, but it's not gonna be our Arrowverse version. It's a version who survived Crisis and escaped his planet, and he has come to our planet, well, I'm guessing Earth Prime, where it's set. So, you know, you're going to have him battling Superman. That is what we know so far, and I'm sure he's going to be, like, a pretty big role, because Lex is always a big role in Superman stories. So even if it's not our normal Arrowverse version, it's like a different version, an alternate version from another Earth, and I think that's really intriguing because we haven't seen a different version of Lex, it's always been John Cryer on Supergirl and then in the crossover. Okay, so like I said, they're going to have two teenage sons, that is Jonathan and Jordan, that is their names. Jonathan was the baby in the crossover, so like I said, they're kind of skipping continuity unless they do go to the future or something, but I'm pretty sure they're not time travellers, these two teenagers. However, it will be interesting to see if any of them will become, you know, Superboy or like a new version of Superman, if they all show powers. I think at some point, surely they're going to show some sort of powers and, you know, there's going to be a setup for one of them to become Superboy. I don't know, I think there's going to be some sort of conflict between Jordan and Jonathan. Apparently, they're going to be quite different in terms of you know, their relationship and I guess their relationship to their mom and dad, Superman and Lois. So yeah, that's mainly the story and just one last thing, Todd Helbing is running the show, he is the executive producer and he is the showrunner. He worked on The Flash, that's where you guys will know Todd Helbing's name, I'm very excited for it. Although I don't think Todd's like the best showrunner we've ever had, he did participate in season 3 and I really like season 3 of The Flash but then they really botched it in season 4 and he was the showrunner so that's the only kind of iffy thing on his resume but apart from that I think he's a very good showrunner and I think he's got a good idea for Superman and Lois and so I can't wait for Superman to get this new suit I really really want to see it it's apparently badass we'll have to wait and see so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and share this video around 
so you don't miss any videos and so everyone else can find the videos as well. I'm going to be making Superman and Lois videos much more often from now on, so yeah, stick around. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.